Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, we are in the session number three of this week. Number three, we are almost uh, done with the, uh, the week. So tomorrow is the last day of this week. And we are just going to have one more week to end this course. So uh, we are going to begin with the topic that we are going to develop today. Um, Remember that you have to work on the platform because you have to complete some sections. In this case, you need to complete section number four for this week. So if you have time, you can work on the, uh, the, the section that you need to have complete for this uh, week. If you have some questions or if you have some exercises in which you don't have the correct answer or you have some troubles to complete, you can ask me in the session today. And we are going to complete the exercises or I will help you to understand what is the, the answer for the exercise. So, Yesterday we were talking about the adjectives and we were seeing the uh, comparative and superlative adjectives. Um, we were seeing the uses that we have for those uh, adjectives, the list of um, one syllable adjective, two syllable adjective, and uh, long adjectives and how to create that uh, sentence or what kind of words we were going to use with that adjective. So now we are going to talk about questions. We are going to talk about a specific word for making questions, but first we are going to have like a review of the WH questions, and then we are going to have the uh, questions with how. That is a topic that we are going to develop uh, today. That is questions with how. But first, we are going to see questions or the WH uh, words to create question, and then we are going to use the question with how. Así que vamos a eh, ver el tema de hoy, que es preguntas con how. Pero primero vamos a hacer un pequeño recorrido recordatorio de las WH words para crear eh, oraciones, para crear preguntas. Y luego ya nos vamos a adentrar en lo que son las preguntas con how. So, let me so the screen in which we are going to begin with the topic. So here we have the document in which we have the, all the information that we need for the course. So now we are going to see a, a, just a reminder of a, what kind of work do we have a, for making questions and some examples. And then when we a, see the questions with how, we are going to develop that part in which we are going to see um, what are the uses for the questions with how, uh, how uh, can we answer those questions. And also we are going to see a lot of examples of uh, that question. So in that case, we have a lot of information um, of how to use this word to make question and what is the specific information that we need when we ask this kind of question. Así que vamos a ver eh, cómo hacer preguntas con how, qué tipo de información necesitamos nosotros eh, para eh, responder eh, esas preguntas. Vamos a ver en qué situaciones usamos nosotros lo que es el how, eh, qué información vamos a adquirir, 
Y obviamente vamos a ver muchos ejemplos para que nos quede claro el uso de how and question. So, we are going to start with the topic. And we are going to see first the WH words that we use to make questions. WH question word. And it says that we use the question word to ask certain uh, types of questions, then uh, we often refer to these words as WH word because they include the letters WH. And in this case, how also has those letters, but it's kind of different. It is not at the beginning of the word, but they have the WH. So we are going to see the question word, the function, and an example for that a question word. And I need to add the table in which I'm going to write the information. So we have here the WH1 or the question one. Then we have the function. And then we have the example. So we are going to begin with one of the most common or most used WH word that is what. In function, we have that uh, we can use this word for asking for information about something. And also we can use this word uh, for asking for repetition or confirmation. Así que what la vamos a utilizar para preguntar por información acerca de algo o para pedir que nos repitan información o una confirmación de la información. In this example, we have, what is your name? That is a very common question. Then we have, what for? And in this case, we are going to use it um, because we need to ask for a reason or asking why. And we have the example. What did you do that for? Then we have when, asking about time. And we have the example. When did he leave? When did he leave? When did he leave? Then we have where, that is asking in or at what place or position.
And then we have the question, where do they live? Then we have which, but this one is asking about choice. And we have the example, which color do you want? Then we have who, and this, uh, the function is asking what or which person or people. And we have here that is the subject. Who opened the door? So give me a second because I need to get my my glasses. Give me a moment. So we have next, whom, we have here who, and then we have whom. And it says, asking what or which person of people. In this case, it's not the subject. In this case, it's the object. So in the first one in which we have a who is uh, talking about the subject. And in this case, when we are using whom, is uh, talking about the object of the sentence. So in this case, we have the example and it says, whose are these keys? What sort is it? Then we have who. And this one is asking about ownership. And the example says, who are these keys? Whose turn is it? I mean, in this case, this one, I mean, it's not like these, because this is the first part of this, and this is whom this you see. There are different, and I am uh, writing in the wrong place. So then we have why, 
That is another a very common question or a very common word that we use to ask questions. And in this case, this one is asking for a reason or asking what for. And we have the example. Why do you say that? Then we have why done. And this one is making a suggestion. And we have the example, why, why don't I help you? Then we have the part that we are waiting for. This is the uh, word that we are going to use for the topic that we are uh, developing right now, that is the question with how. And also, we have different uh, uses for this question. And we have how, how plus adjective or adverb. We have how far, how long, how many, how much, how old, and how come. So in that case, we have different, um, like, um, how can we say it? Like, different the words that we can use to create questions. In that case, we have like a couple, in that case of the how plus another thing to make a specific a question. So now we're going to see the different uh, types of how questions, the, um, the functions and some examples. And then we are going to uh, develop the whole topic in which we are going to see the different uses for the how and also we are going to see some examples um, in which we can see the difference or the uses that we can give to the how word. So now we are going to begin with how and this one is asking about manner And also asking about condition or quality. Así que aquí empieza nuestra parte de el how. Eh, ¿Cómo vamos a utilizar esta palabra? ¿Para qué tipo de cosas lo vamos a utilizar? ¿Y cuál es la información que necesitamos? En esta primera parte tenemos solo el how, que lo vamos a utilizar para preguntar acerca de la manera o acerca de condiciones y cualidades. But we are going to see other uses for this word. So we have the example and it says, how does this work? And the other one is, how was your exam? So in the first one, we have about manner. In that case, is the function of something. And it says, how does this work? ¿Cómo funciona esto? And then condition or quality. In este caso, la pregunta es, how was your exam? Es una condición. ¿Cómo estuvo el examen? Hard, easy, I don't know. It was kind of heavy or something like that. Then we have the how plus adjective or adverb. And this one is asking about or degree.
and we have the in this case we are going to um, divide this one because we are going to use some examples to create this um, this question así que tenemos um, la pregunta how con adjetivos y con adverbios que lo vamos a necesitar para preguntar acerca de los grados de algo, ¿verdad? Ya sea de, eh, de cuán lejos está un lugar, cuánto tiempo nos va a tomar llevar, nos va a tomar llegar a un lugar, eh, la cantidad de algo, la edad o cosas así. Y vamos a ver cuáles son esos ejemplos. En este caso, no vamos a poner el ejemplo en este espacio. Because we are going to divide in different uh, words that we are going to see here in the uh, next uh, line. So we have the first one, and is how far. And it says, this is about a distance. And we have the example. How far is Pattaya from Bangkok? So in this case, we are using that kind of questions to ask about the distance from one point to another. Así que ya tenemos el primero, que es el how far, que nos está preguntando sobre la distancia de un lugar a otro. Then we have how long. How long. And this one is about length. And it says time or space. En este caso estamos hablando de la duración, de lo largo, pero ya sea de tiempo o del espacio que tenemos. How long will it take? How long will it take? Es como decir, ¿cuánto tiempo tomará? En este caso, estamos hablando de tiempo y no de espacio, sino de cuánto tiempo se va a llevar para realizar una acción. Then we have how many. But in this case, we know that we are uh, talking about quantity. La cantidad, but in this case, is countable noun. Esto solo lo vamos a utilizar el how many o el many con nombres contables, nombres o de cosas que podamos contar. How many cars are there? And then we have how much? That is, this one is quantity. But in this case, it's uncountable noun. And we have the example. How much money do you have? Remember that when we are using this kind of expressions, we are asking about the amount, not uh, how many bills or how many uh, points that we have, because in that case, it's talking about countable nouns. In this case, it's uh, talking about uh, the um, amount of money. We have a lot of money. I have some, some dollars or something like that. So in that case, if we are not uh, talking about something specific, we are talking about just uh, an idea of money in that case. Then we have how old. And this one is uh, talking about age. And we have the example, how old are you?
And the last one is how come that this one is in formal? Asking for a reason or asking why? And we have the examples. How come I can see her? So in this case, we have here, but let me take this one. Like, because I, I, I need to see the whole uh, information here. So in that case, we have here the, um, the most important uh, question that we are going to use uh, right now, because uh, you know that we have a lot of uh, question words in this case, because we have the, um, we have the words in the, in the table, but in this case, we need to focus on how and if you can see, we have a different um, type of questions. And in some cases, we need to add uh, some adjectives or some adverbs to ask about any specific information. And that is the part that we need to focus on right now because we are going to continue talking about how questions, uh, how to use them, um, uh, what are the, the moments in which we are going to use how we are going to see example of that a uh, question. So now we are going to have some information about the questions and then we are going to see more information about it to keep it clear. So vamos a ver más información acerca del how, cómo lo podemos utilizar, cuáles son los momentos en los que lo vamos a utilizar. Vamos a ver ejemplos y luego vamos a continuar con la información que tenemos de las questions with how. So we have here asking questions using how. First, we are going to make like a list of the uses that we are going to have for these a kind of questions. So for the first one, we have how for duration. That is the example that we have seen in the, in the table. And we have like the example and it says, how long have you been for? And it says we use how to ask when something has started in the past and continue up until now. And we use has and have plus been plus present and participle. Así que vamos a utilizar este tipo de preguntas cuando una acción ha comenzado en el pasado y continúa en el presente. Vamos a utilizar have and has plus been plus the present participle in the uh, question. Here we have the structure that is half and half. Plus being plus present participle. And 
And we have the examples. We have number one. How long have you been studying English for? And how can we answer that question? So in this case, we're going to see the example, uh, I mean, the question and the answer for that kind of question. So in that case, we can create or we can uh, think about the information that uh, we can give when someone is asking that kind of uh, question and we can uh, give the um the correct information that someone is asking. So in the case, we have the answer and it says, I have been following the instructor. I have been studying English for just five years. I have been studying English for just five years. En ese caso, la pregunta tiene que ver con la duración de algo. Eh, en ese caso, nos está preguntando que cuánto tiempo, ¿verdad? O desde hace cuánto tiempo hemos estado estudiando inglés. Sí, obviamente, we can eh, give that answer. I have been studying English for two months, eh, one year, ten years one day and we are going to add that kind of information for that question then we have the example number two and it says how long have you guys been waiting for And the answer for this question is, we have been waiting for just over 10 minutes. So uh, something that you need to, to see in this kind of question and the answer is that uh, they are sharing the same structure. In este caso, siempre van a llevar la misma estructura. In this part, have you been studying? We're going to mark this one because we're going to use it in the answer. So in that case, I'm going to change the subject because in that case i am not you i am i in that case so i change that part and i say i have been studying this one but it's almost the same in este caso cuando vayamos a responder vamos a utilizar la misma estructura Así como se ha utilizado en la pregunta para hacer nuestra respuesta. How long have you been, have you been studying English for? Y la respuesta, I have been studying English. And then we add the complement. And the other one, how long have you guys been waiting for? We have been waiting for. Then we add the complement. So in that case, we are going to use the same information to answer those questions then we have a number three and it says how long have you been a smoker for And 
And the answer is, I've been a smoker for as long as I can remember. So in this case, it remember that you need to use the time in which we are doing something. In this case, in the last question, it says, how long have you been at the motor for? Es, ¿cuánto tiempo ha sido un fumador? And the person uh, responds, I have been a smoker for as long as I can remember. He sido un fumador desde que puedo recordar. Now, we are with uh, the second type. That is how for frequency. And we have the example. How often do you And it says, we use how to ask how frequent someone or something performs an action. In this este case, estamos preguntando cuántas veces o qué tan frecuente alguien o algo realiza la misma acción o una acción determinada. So in that case, we have the examples. Number one, how often do you study English? And also we are going to write the answer for those questions. So in this case, we can use, I study English every evening except on the weekend. So in case is asking how often do we, do we study English? Con qué frecuencia estudiamos inglés? And in that case, we have the answer. I study English every evening except on the weekend. Estudio inglés todas las tardes excepto los fines de semana. Then we have number two. How often do you have to wait for your mom to pick you up? ¿Cuánto tiempo tienes que esperar? Para que tu madre te recoja. That's the question. And we can answer like this. I rarely wait for my mom to pick me up. I usually only wait when she is stuck in traffic.
So in that case, we can answer raramente, ¿verdad? Espero por, por mi madre que me recoja. Casi siempre, usualmente, solo espero cuando ella está en el tráfico. So in that case, as you can see in this kind of questions, we have like the freedom to answer uh, the questions as uh, we like, because in that case, we are not following an, an a specific structure like we did with the first um, type of question. In this case, we can add more information about the question that someone is asking. So in this case, uh, how often do you study English? We can answer that question, oh, I study English every day or every night, but I like to do it on the morning or something like that. But you can add some more information or the information that you want to give to the people that is asking about something specific. And then we have number three. And it says, how often do you smoke? And we have the answer. I am a heavy smoker. I smoke every chance I get. So, how often do you smoke? ¿Qué tal seguido fuma? And the answer, I am a heavy smoker. Esto significa que es un, un fumador bastante compulsivo, ¿verdad? I smoke every chance I get. Fumo en cada oportunidad que tengo. That is a very, very big problem in that case. So in that kind of questions, we just need to mark the um, one specific word. We can say like that. We can have one specific word that is related to the question, and then we can add um, a lot of information. En eso solo necesitamos agregar una, pre, una palabra clave de nuestra pregunta y luego agregar toda la información que queramos sobre lo que nos están preguntando. En este caso, no estamos siguiendo una estructura específica para responder. Todo lo que tenga que ver con la pregunta que nos hacen. Because in that case, if someone is asking how often do you smoke, we are not going to talk about meals or we are not going to talk about food. Because uh, it's a specific question. It is not like someone is asking, what is your favorite food? Because in that case, we can add a lot of information about food. But in this case, it's something specific. How often do you smoke? Or how often do you have to wait for your mind to pick you up? Or how often do you study English? In this case, we need to answer with that uh, specific word. Then we have the use number three. And it says, how for the length of the action? And we have the example. How long do you usually or and it says we use how long when asking about the amount of time someone spends doing an action or an activity. In the primera, in, in how often is asking about uh, how frequent someone or something from an action. In this case, cuántas veces nosotros hacemos una acción. Es eh, con qué frecuencia. In this case, is uh, talking about the amount of time. In this case, vamos a hablar de la cantidad de tiempo que gastamos 
haciendo una acción o una actividad. So we have the following uh, question. How long do you study English for every night? In this case, it's a specific noise like in the first one. How often do you study English? In this case, how long do you study English for every night? ¿Qué tanto tiempo o eh, cuánto tiempo te lleva a estudiar inglés? In that case, you can uh, use it like that. Eh, la edad. Eh, ¿Cuánto tiempo nosotros eh, estudiamos inglés? Every night. Todas las noches. In that case, is something very, very specific. And it says, how long do you usually or do you study English every night. And we can answer like this. I usually study English for about an hour to an hour and a half, depending on how tired I am. So in that case, we have this answer. Usualmente estudio inglés, hace una hora o una hora y media, dependiendo de, de cómo de cansada esté. So in that case, you can uh, uh, answer that question saying like, um, usually done a study on night because I have to work in another project, but I prefer studying English in the morning or in the evening. Or you can use uh, the information that you have when you study English or when you practice your English skill. Then we have the second one, and it says, How long do you usually wait for your mother when she is late? And we have the answer. I rarely wait more than 10 minutes but every every once in a while I am stuck waiting for up to half an hour.
básicamente la respuesta es que rara vez eh, espera más de 10 minutos a mamá, pero de vez en cuando se queda esperando por media hora, dependiendo de algunas situaciones externas. And the number three, because it's related to the other examples that we have. So we are going to continue talking about the smoke. But it is because we are using that kind of information for making those questions. How long do you spend on your smoke break? And we have the answer. It depends who I am with. If I am smoking alone, I usually spend no longer than 10 minutes on my break. So in this case, it's uh, talking about uh, the time that someone takes to a small. So in the answer we have, it depends who I am with. Depende de con quien esté. Si estoy fumando solo, usualmente mmm, estoy menos de 10 minutos o 10 minutos de mi receso o de mi tiempo libre. Then we have the next one. And it says, you can help learn with the verb take. So we have this example. How long does it take to, plus, um, in that case, the verb, plus the noun? And it says that we use this format of questions to find out how long it takes to complete a specific action. So we have the example. Number one, how long does it take to learn a foreign language? Cuánto tiempo tarda en aprender? un idioma extranjero. And we have a answer. Everyone is different. 
However, for me, it took me about three years to learn English, but I study night and day. In this case, it's saying, todos somos diferentes. Para mí, me llevó mmm, acerca de tres años aprender inglés, pero estudié noche y día. So in that case, that person decides to study and use the whole time to learn this second language. Then we have the number two. And it says, how long does it take to get to Busan from Seoul? And we have the answer. It takes about three hours by express bus and just um, two hours by train to get the bus from Seoul. And the last question for today is, how long did it take you to lose all that weight? And we have here the answer. It took me about six months to drop 10 liters. So we are going to um, and the topic here, we have more information about how questions, but we are going to uh, complete the information tomorrow in the last day of the week. So we are going to end here and we are going to see each other tomorrow in the last day of this week number three. So have a really good night and see you tomorrow. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. See you tomorrow. Good morning. Good night.